Hey guys, welcome back to BMNG driving another tough car challenge. Do not adjust your TV sets. This is not the Abishu Hopper, it is the Gavro Hopper. So, it now looks a lot more like an actual Jeep Wrangler from the 90s. I actually cannot wait till somebody goes ahead and puts the, the a skin from the first Jurassic Park on this thing. It's going to look badass, and I most likely will put it, get that skin uh, and, and installed on the car. Uh, but pretty much, this is the same thing as the Abishu Hopper. Same engine, same variants. Uh, the Gavro version has a little bit more of a workhorse version, which kind of looks like the classic one, but a little tweaked, so it's not quite the same. Uh, the standard Hopper did it in two and a half laps. Can the Gavro version do better? I don't know. But, as always, we're going to find out, so let's hop in this thing, fire up the motor, and get going. Alrighty, guys, we are in the hopper. I have not started it up yet. So, like the regular one, it looks the exact same. The only, they have not changed, the uh, creator has not changed the Gavro lo logo. The, 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 the Bishu logo is still here. They have not put the Gavro logo in. I'm sure it's coming. Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Now, this is the, I believe, the XT6. So, this is a mid-range model with the big six-cylinder engine. As you can see, we have the automatic gearbox. Uh, and, of course, this being a hopper, it's all-wheel drive. So, uh, three, two, one, and away we go. Rip it in the drive. A little bit, little bit of wheel spin as we are off. It's coming up to the first corner. The new sound mod, you can hear the stones bouncing up off the in the undercarriage. Alright. Oh! There we go. Spun it around and saved it with a nice J-turn. Alright. A little bit of a double jump there, because we didn't have a whole lot of speed. Come on. There we go. We're doing all right. About uh, halfway through the lap. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, shit. Oh! And we're back on our wheels. So let's keep on going. A little bit of wheel spin. We're off. Definitely got it. Got a pull to the right. Pretty bad. Oh, shit. <coughs> That just made it worse. Oh shit, come on. This thing's already screwed up. Oh shit. And we're only on lap one. Oh. Holy shit, this thing's nuts. This thing is nuts now. Oh dear god. Something is bent, something is broken. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull off to figure out what the fuck that is. Holy shit. Oh, my dear God. Oh. And it's only occasional, so I really don't know. Hey, there's our door. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go ahead, hop on, see what the hell happened to this thing after one lap. Okay, guys. Here is our hopper driver's side it doesn't look too bad if you ever see pictures of it and you didn't see the store it's like hey it actually looks in pretty good shape come back around here and it starts to get bad our rear bumper is bent uh lights blown out looks like this uh piece of wheel arch is damaged our door is trying to come off uh this wheel arch is damaged the front bumper is messed up and yep the uh this axle is damaged because it is pull, trying to pull the vehicle to the right. So I'm going to have to keep that about half a turn, three quarters of a turn to the left, just to keep the Jeep on the straight and narrow. But, it, yeah, I said Jeep. Oy, the hopper on the street, the straight and narrow. So, uh, I mean, it still runs a drive, so we're going to get back in it and keep on going. 
Alrighty guys, and we are back in the hopper, and this actually has the correct uh, parking brake sound, so listen to this. That's what I was trying to show you guys in yesterday's video, but it wouldn't fucking work, so. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Alright, we're running. Okay. A three, a two, a one, into gear, a little bit of wheel spin. Let the car naturally turn to the right. Oh, come on. Definitely is very squirrely now. Oh, shit. Come on. Up the Widowmaker. Oh. <laughs> that is another very interesting save. All right, we got a little bit of speed, so we'll get a little bit of air on this jump. Not up. Oh, got more than the last time. And we're skidding. And we're trying to spin out. Oh, dear Lord. Woohoo! Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, I don't. Got it. Maybe. I don't know. Do I have it? Who knows? <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Turning in. Let the car come back. It went back too far. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> we almost got two laps down. Oh, shit. And we're not turning. We're turning now. Oh, and we're flipping. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, this thing is definitely going into the pits again because we are listing very hard. It's either blown suspension or there's another big problem with that axle. Oh, two laps down. We're hanging in there. This thing's hanging on. I think it'll beat the Abishu. It shouldn't because it's the same damn car, but eh, what the hell. All right, we're at the pits. Two laps down. Let's see what's happening. Well, this thing has definitely seen better friggin' days. Uh, the hood's starting to buckle. I mean, I just kind of gave away what's going on on this side. It, it looks like the springs are most likely completely blown underneath it. Like, they're not even attached anymore. Uh, but somehow it's still good enough that it will continue to operate. Uh, hold on, we're gonna... Can I move the door? The door is stuck. The door was stuck on the fender flare there. So, oh well. Uh, and now it's almost to the point where... Yowzas! I have to give this a lot of a turn just to get it to continue straight. And I bet this rear axle is kinked. Uh, it's, like, bent a little bit. So it's most likely going to make the vehicle try to drive in a weird direction. Can it make another lap? Let's find out. Okay, we're back in it. Three, two, one, in a gear. And away we go. This thing does not have a whole lot left in it. I mean, the engine and train in the drivetrain has it. The suspension doesn't. Oh god, that's exactly why. Oh. God, this next jump's gonna be hard. I'm it's gonna die, I'm pretty sure. Oh, if it doesn't, I will be very amazed. Oh, uh, come on. You gotta lay hee hoo! Oh, it survived! It survived! Haha! -ha. Okay, I am now amazed. It is really fucked up though. Oh my god. Oh, oh come on. Oh, stop! Don't go in the ditch. You went in the ditch. Come on, we got some wheels squealing for traction there. Oh boy. I didn't say it'd make the other laps. I don't. The. Uh, oh! Oh shit! Well! 
the Widowmaker claimed another one. Well, at least I have an easy way to get out since that door's broke off. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead, shut it off. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, let's climb out and see what the hell happened to this thing. Alrighty, guys, here's our sa the sad, sad state of our hopper. I mean, it is pretty raunched up. The frame looks to be okay. I was going to say, it looks all right. So that really says the suspension on this side was is busted up pretty bad. So that's why it was sitting real hard on this side. Because I don't think the frame doesn't appear to really be bent. So, uh, Actually, it could be bent a little bit right there, I think think i can't really tell anyway uh we'll go ahead get the tow truck out here get it on its wheels and then we'll see if it a if it'll fire back up and if it fires up if it'll drive but either way uh it's attempt at the tcc is done Alrighty, guys this thing is definitely a very sad sight um uh, i think the only piece of suspension that's not busted is this side i mean this is blown the suspension's blown pretty much on the entire front end. The whole front axle is messed up. I was going to say, if the frame's bent, it's actually going to be bent right there. I was going to say, it looks like it might be bent. I can't really tell. I'd have to pull parts off of it, and this isn't fucking uh, my summer car or rev head or car mechanic simulator, so I'm not going to know. Uh, I have it in park, so let's go ahead and see if it'll start. Control... It fired up a little puff of smoke. Radiator is not blown somehow. All right, so we're gonna put our foot on the brake, take the parking brake off, we're gonna put it in drive. And it does drive forward, do we have reverse? And we have reverse, oh yeah, that frame is bent. Look at how it kind of teeter-tottered there. Uh, this side is bent up, so. Uh, she still will drive. We went ahead and shut her down, because, shut it down. Uh, so, very impressive. Uh, we made it past halfway point, so this is going to be sitting, I want to say, it two. Hold on, I'm trying to think here. Two and two-thirds. That's where it's going to be. It's two and two-thirds. So, we'll go ahead hop in the overhead view and we'll determine where it sits on the leaderboard i believe we have another tie so we will uh go ahead and let's let's see where it sits on the leaderboard guys Alrighty, guys so the hopper we already decided did two and two-thirds laps that makes it in a three-way tie with the 88 pessima wagon in the Abishu Tuama. So it's kind of sitting with family there. Uh, the vehicle's in front of it with three and a quarter laps complete is the 94 Abishu Covet. Then with three and a half laps, we have the uh, Hirachi Start and Ford LTD. And then I believe we got a, got a tie with three and two thirds, which would be the Abishu Pit Dove, Dove slash slash pigeon four-wheeler in the barstow i6 rally sport behind uh this group is a i believe it's a three or a three-way tie yes because the d35 was a stock car so it's still a three-way tie between the hirochi sunburst electric two lux the gavril romer diesel and the gavril d15 blazer followed by that those are a two and a half followed by the Le Grand Coupe with two and one eighth. Then uh, the Sunburst Station Wagon Electric with one and seven eighths. So very, it, it pretty much again, sm almost smack dab in the middle of the leaderboard. It seems like if, if a vehicle is going to fuck up, it's going to be either I take a bad landing and I can't save it right here. Or something happens right here where the car has compromised suspension and it goes right off the Widowmaker right here. Or I cut it inside. So, yeah, that's where we stand. Uh, 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, guys, in the next Tough Car Challenge, have a good one.